right? That's right. I was measure that one. Right, the sand, here is the sand in the beaker. Um, if we had a scale here, you would measure it. But I can tell you that uh, the sand has a mass of 20 grams, and the total for the whole lot is 67 grams. So what is the mass of the glass tube? 67 grams total and there's 20 grams of sand in there. And then you've got to measure the temperature of the water and measure a time. I just this John, wait, I'm sorry, you also said about the grams. You're not sure about that? You said something about this. The total mass of the tube is 67 grams, and there's 20 grams of sand. What's the mass of the glass tube? Five. Then you've got the temperature to measure, and you've got the time yourself. My very expensive apparatus. My technician made that. Just let go. Okay. Oh. Wrong direction. I promise you I'm going to tell it. Every day and in every way I'm getting better and better. Ah, that's looking promising. Yes, it's taking off. It's going, it's going. Measure that. Measure that to see what it is. Have you marked where it is? Near enough. 170. Hmm? Sorry? Oh, 170. Yes. Yeah, 170. Right, jack it up another block. Mm -hmm. Right, where's your wheels? For my wheels. Uh, excuse me a minute. I'm not happy about this little bump mm -hmm. here. Yes. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> That's better. Right. Let's go for it. We're rolling. We're rolling. Yay! Okay. Try another measure. Then the assistant. But I told you. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Can I try that? That is 67 grams. That is 20 grams. Yes. What's the matter? Okay. Right. It's not fair. It's not fair. <laughs> it's fair. Okay. It's more of a... No, it's not fair. What did you discover? You discover uh, nothing. It's quite cold. Nothing <laughs> Measuring the dependence of the length of spring and, and mass. I never, I never start by saying, oh yeah, I say, no, what's the problem? Why is it you can't do what I think of the other system? And then, I say, hey, are you going to work? Are you going to work? Are you come back in. Mm -hmm.
This is my infrared photo of me. Camera has lower temperature as well as this paper. Moves very slowly and carefully. Hello, it's me on the moon. The gravity is strange. And I can breathe without oxygen. how it looks like, so-called green box and screen. Over on the side. Space dome. Outside here, Felix Theater. GE Pavilion. Only volunteers, but nobody is doing anything here. Now we are having a lunch break. Mm, another camera. Mm. Oh, surprising. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Are you happy Hello. today? Oh, I'm very happy. Very happy. My big lunch. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> now it's lunch, now we? Well, that's the issue, isn't it? Really. I mean, teachers by definition will already have cut, otherwise they wouldn't be teachers. You know? So it's this is a spectrum. Well two spectrums actually. So this is Bix here and this is Kelp here. And they cross over. And teachers are usually in the middle, here, in the classroom, in in Mother Tongue. Alright? So this down this end. You could probably you can call it more organic. Right. Because then you have don't have to use pesticides. Of course. Of course. Yeah, exactly. So you'd have to, you know, scientifically look yeah. at that. Obviously, I'm not an up-to-date no, scientist, I'm a methodologist, no, you know. What I'm looking at is how you would manage yeah. a role play. Yeah. So you'd have to check all that yeah. data, you know. I just wonder if I had a, a misconception yesterday. Well, check it out tonight. Yeah. Get to the supermarket and see. Have a look at the packets of tomatoes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. what do you think about today's uh, lectures? Oh, it was really interesting. <laughs> I have to admit, my also. accent is uh, <laughs> the best of the one. <laughs> other, uh, uh, other comments? We use clear in our schools, but uh, we don't say this uh, clear. Mm. You I just think. use it? Yeah. I also use clear uh -huh. without naming it. Uh -huh. And what about Spain? We are supposed to do to apply to use CLIL, but in the in the in the bad uh, bad way. So the, bad, the, bad, the, the worst CLIL of the world. No, oh, according to hair. Uh, uh, hair, yes. Yeah. Her opinion. Yeah. But uh, I think her opinion is different when we finish than the opinion yeah, we had previously when we start the evening, when we start the evening. What about Sweden? 
I don't think uh, we use uh, we don't use English very much. <laughs> but we don't call it clean. <laughs> but, but everybody in Sweden is is, uh, is go, uh, speaking English. Yes. Uh, everybody who I met, who I talked talk to, there was no problem with communication in English. Yes. I think so. uh, maybe we, we do more than we think, because I often have English videos and English, uh, English uh, lyrics, but uh, it's just because I, you can find more in English, so I take it. And the students just have to deal. <laughs> Yes, this is the place where the next activity will be placed, a robotic something. The tent is air-conditioned, very nice temperature. That's all right. People are gathering. Everybody. As you may have noticed, I am a humanoid robot and I am 120 meters tall. I am a sophisticated combination of hardware and software designed to interact with humans and make their lives easier. I am the first robot able to recognize main human emotions and I can react accordingly. I can analyze your face and notice when you smile or when you seem to be sad. I have touch sensors, three omnidirectional wheels, sonar, two cameras and about 12 hours of autonomy. And where do you come from? I was designed by SoftBank Robotics in Paris, by Bold Engineers. Uh, and explain what your purpose is. At home, I am a companion robot. I am connected to the internet. You can ask me questions. I can take pictures, play or dance with you, for instance. Uh, Every day I am learning to be a better companion. In shops, as an assistant, I can greet customers give information about products or entertain them, while a salesman could be available. In Japan, already 10,000s robots like me are used by families and companies. Swapbank Robotics works with visionary partners who want to shape the world with robots. And developers from all over the world imagine new applications every day to give me additional capabilities. And explain, are you happy? <laughs> I am always happy to be with humans and I am really glad to be here with you today at Cheltenham Festival. <laughs> but can you tell me a joke? I like jokes, but I do not know a lot. They're as cheesy as the pizza I'm going to have for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that you will like this one. This is a hard drive talking to a CPU. One, zero, 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 one, oh. zero, one. <laughs> that one is too funny. We'll be the judges of that. Thank you very much, Pepper. If you it just... was a pleasure chatting with you, Rory. Thank you. If you'd like to just accompany me over here so that our poor uh, upstage guests um, can uh, have a little space for their own presentations. What we're going to do now is we're going to hear uh, from each of our three panelists. Uh, Pe Pepper does get in the way a bit, I know. Never work with children, animals, or robots. That's the big thing I've learned. <laughs> so, 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 so don't be like that. Just be nice, be nice. Equipment for metal work. Textile department. It's quite good. Okay. It's very yeah. yes. Some instruments. Most of them are empty because of the exams. Okay. Oh. 
halt. Very good equipment everywhere. Maybe it doesn't go there. Public by GCIC students. This is the Practical school. Very well equipped. Where's the frog? It's like a water bug. Is it not a frog? I used to. Preparatory room for science. But this is for all science, not only physics. I see some yeah, microscope. Science. We have another one of these downstairs as well. Uh, so uh, that's why you have three times uh, greater than mine, because I have yeah. only physics. <laughs> Sorry, I remember um, somebody coming from Spain last year, and they said, uh, "Was it Spain? Oh, I can't remember." But they said, "We have to bring in if we want to use yeah. equipment, yes. we have to buy it ourselves." Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do, do, do you have yeah. to do that as well? You can. Yeah. So it is for all science, yeah. not only physics. And I uh, just take it as shown. Oh, so you don't this get to even... Chemistry, material kits. Yeah. 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 Mm. Uh, we, we are very and the scissors. We are very, very What is the balance between uh, theoretical uh, and, and practical uh, physics? Mm, that's a good question. Um, try to maybe do a practical every third or fourth lesson, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, sometimes it doesn't work out like that, but uh, we try to get in as much as we, as much as we possibly can. Another preparatory room at. I want to say I'm sorry. Another. They look on your face. Floor. Big Van de Graaf generator, three times as much as mine is. <laughs> some of them, some of them, not very often, but, uh, but we do use them at one time or another. <laughs> Equipment for electricity. Mathematical background of physics at the A level. Old Abbey. Old Bell Hotel. And our group. Queens and photos everywhere. Every time. Inside view of Nosebury Abbey. And it's a cafeteria inside. <laughs> In some shops. So my international family uh, at another perfect meal. So if you could explain what is it. 
Oh dear, I haven't done this before. It's, <laughs> it's pulled chicken with a smoky barbecue sauce. So there's chicken breast and a sauce that goes with it. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, maybe this one. This is pork. And this? Ah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so in the comments? Um, the, the, the chicken is very tasty. We may say it's yummy. Yummy, yes. Yummy is good. <laughs> very good. Yeah. Yummy is sort of slang or... Yeah. I thought yummy was just for, just for desserts. Chicken. No. You just no, use anything. Cheese, can be yeah. yummy. Yeah, any food. Yeah, it's really Does good. children often use yummy? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Abdullah, what do you say? <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Is the dinner good? <laughs> Is it okay? Any comments? Yeah, I like. <laughs> so. I like uh, Sue's uh, kitchen. Kitchen? No? Yes. Cook. Cooking. Cooking. So I published this film as an advertisement. <laughs> yes. Lucille is a very good cook. She helped to make the rice. <laughs> yes. I must also admit it is very good. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> Optional one day trip to the bath. Yeah, the participants. She was called Brandy Nan. She uh, was quite a large lady, sat down a lot, played cards and drank brandy. And gout was a very, very common disease at the time. Can I show you this picture of what, mm. a depiction of what gout felt like? It felt like a little devil. Reconstruction of medieval city walls. John, would be quiet. You'll learn where all the museums are. So now we're going to walk up Gay Street. That's the university behind the Jordan Garden. It's called a crescent, but actually the shape from the, uh, the sky from the airplane is uh, an ellipse, like the inside of a moon shape. And this was designed and built by John Wood the uh, Younger. And it was completed quite late in the Georgian times, in 1770. Underground house. Circus. It's three approach roads. So everywhere you come up, you face the centre of the terrace house. It looks like a, a circle. This was designed uh, and built by. Well, this started to be designed by. John Wood, but then he died, and John Wood, the younger, finished it off. Laser time in the bus. Everybody's tired after two hours guided walking. Oh, no, that's like that. Wow, no, 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 best of all. It must be something no special. Vegan, no vegan food for ducks. <laughs> Just beef and pork. <laughs> Maybe he likes chips. Yeah, come here. Are you gonna touch you? Come here. Oh. I don't know rubbish. He, he prefers Do you. you. Rubbish? Maybe it pre prefers rubbish. Yeah. Come here. He likes the lady. Yeah, of course. He's, he's a maid. I don't know. Come here. No. This one. This one. 
Animal dissection in progress. That's not everywhere, it's very similar to <laughs> we'll be back over here with this uh, a sharp bit. Just want to give people a chance to look at this. Nice. It's amazing because you're there's a picture of the two kidneys and the whole and the bladder underneath. The space dome. Again, crowd as usual. Even it's Saturday and no special event is planned for here. The man saw the keeps going very slow. What can you see about it? It's a probe, yeah, it's got probes on it. Can you see that big shiny bit on the front? So that is a An overall look to the Discover Zone. Now it is Saturday, half past 11. Many people. producing this kind of music. <laughs> Last lunch, everybody is filming what had gone. Not, not last supper. Which one is the biggest? Maybe mine. I think my uh, lunch is the biggest. Oh. No, I have the other. 